Hello folks, this is my first video from the European trip that I recently completed. This is day two on the European soil. Um, and just to give you an overview, let you, let you understand where I was. So we'll do the, the Google map thing. So on the second day of the tour, uh, I arrived in Holland up in Amsterdam up here. This is uh, the route from Newcastle. Um, my original plans was to go to a private motor museum collection that I'd uh, saw before, uh, which looked fantastic. So that was my plan, was to travel down there, spend a few hours in the museum, and then go to my digs for a nice, easy first day on the continent. However, a couple of days before I set off, I found out that it actually wasn't going to be open Um that coincided with the time that I was actually here in the Netherlands up here. So, so a hasty re, uh, rearrangement of my travel plans. And what I did was I travelled down here, down the coastline through Harlem and down through here, and I ended up in The Hague. Now, I didn't go straight into the middle of The Hague. It was too busy. Uh, it wasn't what I wanted to do. What my intention was was to drive down to this part of Holland where all these bridges are over the rivers and water and lakes and canals, whatever they are, spend a bit of time around here and then drive east to my dick. So um, all went well till I got to The Hague and then it started getting really busy. Rotterdam, the roads around Rotterdam were a bit nightmarish. Um, I made it down to about here and then I decided that uh, actually the day had disappeared so quickly because I'd taken lots of back roads, you know. Um, so I made my way up and ended up in my digs, which was in southern, or central, I suppose, uh, central eastern Netherlands. So, um, Metropole Druten BV, this is where I was uh, heading, heading for, but I found it was close. So I ended up at my digs down here, which were actually lovely. And the subject of this video is I, I drove out here and I, I, I came up, and this is a dike, right, for all the water. You can see the river there, whatever river that is, and the, the lakes. And we find ourselves driving along the, the dike, and then we turn around and come along back and head here. So um, just to let you understand where I was on this ride, Let's go and have a look at the video. It's 360 video, by the way, so let's hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are. This is us on the dike. And we're uh, running along the top. Some great views. Um, I've got to admit, I'm struggling a bit with the, the Insta360. Um, I, can't, I can't make my mind up what I like from it, what kind of shot I like from it. I mean, with the the traditional action camera, it's what you see is what you get, and it all depends on the position on on bike. But on this one, the options are endless, really. However, this little bit of the road only only runs for about maybe five minutes in total as we go along but we get great views so when you saw the map you saw that body of water on the left hand side uh, my digs were just down on the right now you'll see as we come past there's a bistro the night before I went in there and had uh, some duck it was very nice uh, it was a bit posh price was a bit posh as well as you would expect but it was very nice and uh, I had to get the waitress to read what was on the menu to me. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, why is it every time I do a voiceover, a blinking email pops in and you can hear it in the background? Hey-ho. So, you can see that it's well used. We've got a few cyclists. Um, a couple of cars went past as well whilst I was there. But it was very nice, very peaceful. And actually, quite a lot of the road that I took on on this day, um, I was heading to Luxembourg. A lot of the a lot of the, the roads were very similar to this. Really enjoyed it. I mean, one thing that you that you'll see is my head never stops going from left to right when the camera pans around. I'm I'm just looking, and it's for one reason why 
actually I'm not that keen on chin mounted cameras because of, it, it just gets too much movement but there's always compromise eh? so you can see the, the road surface it's in very very good condition I was speaking to the hosts for that night and it's very clear that they that they really, really are proud of the state of their roads because the roads in Holland were fantastic not the pot ridden mess that is the UK but uh, I was telling them, I was talking to them about the about the route I was taking going through Belgium on the way to Luxembourg and one of the things he said, as soon as you leave Holland you'll know when you're in Belgium because you see the state of the roads and uh, he was true to his word <laughs> It was almost immediate that uh, we got onto the road that was just, it was just like UK, it was awful. But there we go. So the 360 camera panning around. Uh, like you say, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure about it, but we'll play about with it. I've got plenty of footage of uh, both the traditional action cam and the 360. So here we are, that's the end of that particular dike and that's me onto the main road. Now, we're knocking across to the DJI Action 3, the traditional chin mount that you saw previously in the Insta360. And this was typical of the roads I used heading down. So you can see I've highlighted the route that I took from up there in the north down to the bottom. Uh, that we're about to go through this little village. I don't think it's a town, but it's a village. Um, and the roads were like this. They were single track. Well, not single track, but they were... Um, quite narrow, quite quiet as well, and uh, very enjoyable actually. So there we go, that's Battenberg and it tells you that the speed limit now that you're entering is uh, 30 kilometres per hour. Now when I get to this junction, the sat nav had been doing all kinds of funny things as I've already probably mentioned. Um, and it was sending me down that really narrow street and I was thinking, I surely to goodness, it's not, I don't want me to go down there. I uh, saw the guy come out with the motorbike and I thought, right, I should be okay, let's go down. So I did, and actually it was very nice. Um, I've got these blocks on my uh, drive, so um, I thought, hmm, just be careful not too slippy and they were fine of course big blinking lorry there as well but it's a very Battenberg was a very pleasant little place looks like it's well kept as well some work is there so we get to the end of the road and we take a left um, there's actually a very nice there's a very nice church very nice uh, very nice architecture it is and you notice all the houses are all brick built as well so I went through quite a few places like this. This is this is what I spent this day on doing this type of road. Um, quite a long day in the in the saddle. There's that church, but very nice nonetheless. So now we're about to exit Battenberg, and it tells you. You've got to see it in a second. And it says uh, there's a sign, and it says, "Right, that's your lot. You're finished." And it gives you the new speed limit, but it didn't always do that, but uh, and there we go. So I thought I'd just give you a little taster of the of the kind of roads that I did in Holland. They don't they don't really make great for great uh, YouTube content because it's all so flat and straight, but it was terrific to ride, believe me. Um, you'll get to see a, a, a windmill on the left hand side as we pass it by, just as we come to finish this little video. So that's a taster of Holland. Uh, probably not too many YouTube videos on Holland but we'll see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this one. Till the next time. Bye.